Kia ora everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Raid Sparrow, the Deepstone Crypt Raid Sparrow. The way to unlock this is you need to get the, the Triumph, not a scratch. And to do that you need to bring all the pikes from the starting heat bubble to the final heat bubble in the Deepstone Crypt uh, Sparrow section of the raid. Now if you read the title of this video I did say that I was going to be doing this almost solo so what I mean by that is you are able to do basically everything in this triumph except once you have all six sparrows at the end you will need a full fire team in order for this triumph to unlock. So that's what I'm going to do in this video I'm going to show you how to do the whole thing solo and then right at the end I'm going to bring in I'm going to bring in a bunch of people to fill up my fire team in order for the triumph to pop. Now I am going to be showing you everything that you need to do this, that it does include the combat and the starting section that I'm showing you right now, but I will be speeding some of that up just to reduce the time of the video. And if you do want to skip ahead, I will be putting timestamps into the description as well as YouTube's new you know, timestamp scrubbing through the, the timeline feature. So once you defeat all those starting enemies, just head through the door that opens up and go through uh, this section just on your sparrow. Once you reach the first heap bubble, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through all my sparrows first and clear out all the enemies because I don't want them destroying any of the pikes. Um, even though if you do just have a pike destroyed, it will respawn at the first heap bubble if you head back to the first heap bubble. So um, if you fall off a cliff or anything like that or if an enemy destroys it, then you can always go back and get that sparrow, that pike. Man, I'm going to get that wrong so many times, aren't I? And once you reach the third heat bubble, you will have some enemies spawn in. There's a bunch of dregs and there will be three captains. These dark council captains that you have to kill. Just recommend clearing all of those out before heading on to the next bubble. Shotguns, auto rifles and swords are very good for this section. Once you've defeated all the enemies, the way forward is towards this little light. It's basically on the opposite side of where you entered. So if you just head towards those lights and then sort of turn to your left a bit, uh, you'll find some more lights and then keep going straight. There's a bit of a structure uh, in front of you and that is the next bubble right next to that. In this heat bubble, once again, there's a bunch of dregs and three captains will spawn. So the, I think, believe the captains show up. Like if you once you defeat one, another one will spawn, and once you defeat another, another one will spawn usually. After defeating those enemies, what you want to do is this structure right here, it's right next to where you came in. You just want to head on the right hand side of it, sort of between that and this little pillar on the other side. And you should be able to get straight onto this platform and right across. And then the next bubble is right here. In this bubble, I only had two captains spawn this time. So again, a lot, a lot of dregs, but then only two of the Dark Council captains. Once you defeated those enemies, you want to head out of the bubble the way you came in and just head slightly to your left and so you don't hop off the cliff and then head this way to avoid the mines. Once you reach this bubble, this is the second to last bubble and this one once again will have a bunch of dregs and three Dark Council Captains that you'll have to clear out. Well you don't have to but I recommend clearing them.
Now once you've defeated those enemies, you want to head out this way. So that's the way we came in, and this is the way we're going to go out. And there's a little light on the side of this little cliff, and you want to sort of go between these uh, little areas and just head to your left a little bit, and then turn right, and then head towards the next light, and then you want to go right, and this will avoid all of the slow mines in that area. Now that you've reached the final bubble, this has two brigs in it, so watch out for them. And then you've also got all of the dregs, as well as two dark council campers. Just defeat all the enemies, use your supers or abilities if you need to. Swords are very good against the, the brigs, so if you've got the new Lament Exotic Sword, or if you've got Falling Guillotine, I would recommend those. This is a good example of if you die you will be sent back to the next bubble but sometimes it bugs out and will send you all the way back to the start so uh, don't worry about that just head back to the final bubble to finish off killing all of the brutes. Okay, now that you've killed all of the enemies, what you want to do is you want to use this transmat teleporter and it will take you back to the previous bubble. And then what you do is you hop into the next one and it will take you back to the previous bubble from this one. And then you just keep doing that until you reach the original uh, first bubble, which has the pikes in it. And once you reach the original bubble, you should see that you got six pikes there. One just spawned in because I actually destroyed this without showing you guys. Um, but so that shows you that they do respawn if you do just have one destroyed by falling off a cliff or something like that. Now just follow the path that I have on screen. I'm not using the glitch that allows you to not get frostbite. Um, that is something that you could do if you wanted to do that. Um, I have done it this way just in case that glitch gets patched out. Um, so, you know, everyone can still do this. But if you want to use the glitch and you don't know how to do that, I've got another video up on my channel, um, how to get the, the secret chest. And you can also watch that if you want to get the secret chest that's also near the final bubble. So yeah, once again, just follow what I'm doing on screen and you should be fine. And once you reach the final bubble, just put the pike in the bubble and hop off it and then head back through the transmat and do that five more times so that you will have all six pikes in the end bubble.
Once you have all six pikes in the final bubble, what you're going to need to do is get a fire team, a full fire team. What I recommend doing is going on to LFG if you don't have enough friends to help you out with this. And make sure you log in um, with your whatever account that you are going to be playing the game on. And then uh, go to the community tab and find a fire team. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a fire team just on the right corner there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to set it to whatever platform you're on. I'm going to put it the Deepstone Crypt Raid. And then what I decided to call it is I have all six sparrows at the end, just need a team. And that seemed to get people in pretty quickly. That being said, it's not too long after the release of the raid, so not a lot of people have the sparrow yet. Um, choose a player count. Make sure you put five players or how many, play how many players you need and then create the fire team and then wait for people to join that and then invite yeah, them into your game. I'm doing this on PlayStation, on a PlayStation 5, so I'm having to invite people manually because it is a little bit bugged. Now all you need to do is you need the players to arrive in your game. You don't actually need them to be at the end with all the pikes. You just need them in your fire team in the raid and the yeah. triumph should pop away, um, unfortunately i did miss yeah. it because i yeah, yeah, was sorry. trying to invite more people yeah. and it, i didn't realize one of the people oh, i invited yeah. brought one of their friends and therefore we had a full fire team before i was ready to get the recording and here is the conversation here oh we already we got, got it though we already got it. i already got it yeah i already got yeah. it as soon as, got um, it. as soon yeah, as the yeah, sixth yeah, person yeah. as soon as the sixth person joined, joined so. the triumph yeah team. I got I've it. Got, oh, really? That's cool. I've got so, the triumph, but are you supposed yeah, to get a sparrow? Yeah, if you go to your triumphs and yes. then uh, unlock yeah, the triumph. So if you go oh, to your turn it in. Yeah, yeah, and you turn it in. Mine again. And I'm there we go. Hey guys. hey, guys. How are you doing? Thank you for that, by the way. Oh, thank you. Oh, too right. Yeah, thank really you, guys. Good. So there we go, you should have the Sparrow by now if you followed along and done what I did. Um, this is what it looks like, it's a pretty interesting looking Sparrow, people are calling it like the, the Telesto Sparrow and I definitely understand that uh, name. And then here's a quick look of driving it around and it's got quite a cool little um, trail. So that's how you get the Deep Stone Crypt Sparrow almost solo, you will need a fire team at the end. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, a like is always appreciated. It does help it out. And now it's time for me to say see you everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. And somebody said we got a toxic Destiny community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Appreciate yeah. it, Speed. Thank Thanks, you very much. Yeah, no worries, guys. Hope you have a good one. You don't need to be Prince Charming to me. I just need this to be real I don't need no fairy tale You don't need it